نستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد today walhamdulillah we have the great pleasure of starting a new class the class is Tajweed. Now Tajweed is a very serious science. Not like other sciences where you can come, like in Tafsir class, you can come, pay attention to every lesson, or don't come, every lesson comes sometimes, and anytime you come to lesson, you can pick up, because it's not stair-stepped, unless you're learning usul or fundamentals of Tafsir. Here in Tajweed, you have to follow from the beginning to the end because we're dealing with rules of how to recite the Quran. And many people, when they deal with this subject, they come at it from different angles. And for that reason, we don't find many people in the West agreeing or learning the science of Tajweed. And this stifles our growth because the person in and his deen in his understanding of the Quran, that means Arabic language and recitation. And the Prophet وسلم, he used to judge people by how much Quran they knew. And so Quran is not just you, you learn it on your own. No, there has to be talaqi. There has to be someone who met you, you met them, you learned from them, and that person learned from someone who also he met, they learned from someone that goes all the way back to the Prophet. It's that serious. And people don't take it that serious. So when someone teaches you Qur'an, they can't have studied it on their own. There is no such thing. You can't pick up a book of Tajweed and say, I'm going to study Tajweed, and after I read this book or I watch this video, now I know Tajweed. No, you have to meet the person. He has to look at you. He has to touch you, even if he doesn't look at you. One of my teachers in Egypt was blind. We used to sit close to him until we touched our leg to his leg, and he would listen. He was, he was blind, so he could listen and hear if we pronounced the words properly. And the reason why he would make us sit close so he can hit us. You know, and sometimes people, we would play games with him, because he was young, he was around our age, you know. So we would sit behind each other and slide one student in front and recite, and the other guy get hit. You know, he used to do this game like that. However, the science of Tajweed is serious. That's the point. So first, let's look at, and, and the way I'm going to do it, like I said, people study it from different angles. One of the ways people study Tajweed and teach these lessons is they teach it from the perspective, remember, people don't know anything, aslan, you know? So they come and they say, I'm going to teach you the rules of carrying the Qur'an, the adab of carrying the Qur'an, and this type of thing. And there's a lot of ikhtilaf about those things because people are so ignorant that if you tell them this is the rules, this is what the ulama agree upon, they don't want to hear that because they want to follow what they grew up on, what they were told, what they understood. So we haven't gone to the level where we can really trust our teachers. So I'm not dealing with that from that angle, not yet. The other way, the way that we're going to do, is you take a classical text, a classical text, you start with that text and you go from beginning to end. There are a few classics. The one that we're going to begin with is the baby book. It's a, baby, a classic or a primer text. It's a beginner text that all other texts rely upon. All these other modern books that we have, Science of Tajweed, this, that, and the other thing, Faydul Rahman, Fi Ilm Tajweed, Al Quran, all these things, all these books are based on another book. I call it Jamzuri. Tuhfatul Atfal is the name of the, the book, or the, the text. A small gift to the babies. And here, baby doesn't mean in age. It means a baby in Tajweed. You understand that? So, first let's understand what the word Tajweed means. We break down the word. It's Tajweed. In Arabic, ta jim wow da Tajweed. The ta and the ya are not aslin. So the word is jawada. Okay? Jawada, meaning to make something good. Tajweed is the art or the science of beautifying your recitation. Okay? It's the art of beautifying your recitation. 
That's what it is. It's also to recite the Quran in the way it was revealed. How do we recite it from the way it was revealed? Is we go to someone. Again, I'm going to beat this point in the head. We go to someone who learned it from someone who learned it from someone had to, until we get to the point that that someone learned it from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or one of his companions. And if we don't have that chain of narration going back, then you shouldn't open your mouth up to speak. You shouldn't say because you don't know. Do you understand that point? Okay, let's move on. I'm pulling directly. Usually I don't use books to teach with. I brought my books here today because I'm going to teach directly out of my books so that we don't make sure we don't have any problems. What I have done, I've translated the text of Tuhfatul Atfal and the explanation of it is from the writer of it and we'll get to that in right now. So Tajweed is the science through which we learn how to recite the Quran correctly. The way, and the only way to recite it correctly is to recite it the way it was revealed. How do we know it was revealed that way? We recite it from someone who, who learned it from someone who learned it from the Prophet Sallallahu Let me get that thing, the clean, clean the water right there, that, uh, behind the door, please. Oh, shukran jazeelan. Okay. Now the name of the text is called Tuhfatul Atfal, a small gift, a gift. Man, my, my, my hands are beat up. A gift to the babies. Okay. Now the way we're going to do this, I'm going to go line by line in the text and explain it to you. And you will have to, in this text, we go through the text. You write down the text, you memorize the text, and you memorize the explanation that's given to you. You don't exceed that, and you don't delete anything from that. And if you, when you teach it, you give what you learned directly from somebody. Okay? Now, if you're reading a book, you have to confirm what you read in books and what you learn off videos from somebody. Ain and blain, eye to eye, somebody that you met, that you trust to teach you this thing. And they have to give you their word that they learned it from somebody who learned it from somebody who learned it from the Prophet Illa, without that, then you shouldn't study from them. Do you understand that? Because they don't have a right to tell you what Allah's Messenger, how he recited it. Okay? So, the name of the book here is Fathul Aqfal. بشرح تحفة أطفال is called فتح الأطفال بشرح تحفة الأطفال and one of the things the first thing you should learn after learning what this means first Fath al-Aqfal. Fath means opening. Al-Aqfal is the plural of qifl. A qifl is a lock. Okay? So this is the book that opens the locks. Okay? So the lock opener, or the thing that opens the locks. What is it? An explanation of tuhfatu, a gift, the small gift, something nice means something nice, something, S-T-H, means something nice for the atfal. It's the plural of tifl. Tifl is a baby. Here, the objective with this word tifl is the baby or the beginner in tajweed, in the science of tajweed. That's the first thing you need to know, what the, the title basically means. The next thing you need to know is or need to recognize is that from the style of the scholars of the past is they would make everything into rhymes. They would put it into a poem. Even the title of their books they put into poems. So you have a book of Tajweed. Sulamul Wusul ila ilmi tawheed wa tiba'ir rasul. Right? Sulamul Wusul, if you listen, it rhymes. Ila ilmi tawheed. 
in, um, Sulaim Usul is the, the, the ladder that will get you to your objective regarding ilm tawheed regarding the science of tawheed the oneness of Allah with what tabai rasul and imitating the messenger of Allah